Hello everybody, Shrog here, and today is going to be a bit of a different video. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you around abandoned projects of mine, and generally just abandoned projects. So this one you can see in front of you, um, it's meant to be an adventure map we're making, me and the RDF. But, uh, so um, let's just say that uh, it kind of died and we stopped doing it and... Yeah, so I've got my fly mod off and let's just turn this on. Make some bacon. Oh wow. Actually, before I do this, I'm I'm gonna do this. Okay, we've got we've got a texture pack for this. This is how this is how serious we went with this project, so yeah, here we go, we've got kind of quarterly theme. Note that some stuff in here will be broken, like the doors. There's some of the texture pack got kind of stuffed up and I completely covered it. So here we go, we're in here. And this is another bit that broke from memory. Um, these are meant to actually go up and down, I think. And wow, the, <laughs> the water shader mod seems to be playing up. That doesn't matter, so we complete this room. We have this kind of cool lighting thing that I did a while back. And here, someone's been through here and turned everything on so you can't really see the funky effects, but that doesn't matter, it's just kind of speed through here. This floor actually opens up. There you go, you can see kind of generally the texture pack that I made for this, or me and Hex X, or however you say that. Um, uh, door fail. These lights are meant to turn on and off, but uh, let's just run down here. Uh, yeah, got some sort of Ratman? No. Ever since the repeater update, I think things just kind of broke generally. So, yeah, as you can see there, um, back there, things broke, and for some reason, these are actually uh, pumpkins, I think. It's just we textured different sides to be different things, which is pretty cool. You now we can fly past this one, it's got absolutely no it's not working. Oh crap. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay, so in here, uh, we're not actually meant to build up a huge supply of these companion cubes, but let's just grab one anyway. So you, so you grab the, the companion cube. Uh, Hit the button and somehow you jump up on here. This is a lot easier than single player. Um, also, these tor these lights here aren't they're actually torches and not really meant to be there. Oh, people placing blocks in the wrong places. Anyway, so you place your companion cube there. And you go through here. This is cool. It disposes of it so it can be reset and reused for another time. Uh, uh, let's just open our door. Oh, stuff, I'll just leave it there. <laughs> so coming through. And this is where just people just start losing interest, sadly. So, you yeah, kind of. It's cool until people start losing interest. And we've got these cool hallways and stuff. With these lights that turned on and sinks. So, and yeah, as you walk down here, you're like, oh, light. Um, they turn off when you hit that. So when you hit this. Oh, there we go. And there's meant to be kind of a sense of scale in here, but we never really got around to it. And the texture pack is pretty cool. What we got done in the end. A lot of it was just ripping parts of other ones apart. But anyway, I think I should change back to my other texture pack now, which is the default. Some an avid kind of defaultist, I guess. So, um, what should we go to next? I think we can go to what, what was it called? Adventure. There we go. Okay, someone dug a hole in the ceiling, it seems. Great, I guess. Okay, let's just block this out. So, this is a this was an adventure map I was making quite a while ago. Basically, it was a one-time run, so 
you know, you, you've got limited torches, everything's dark, it's set in Egypt. And so if you take like this torch, the sand would fall down, you just basically be locked out forever and have to reload the map. And it was just filled with... It was, yeah, it was just hard in general, so... You know, you're walking along and then... Bam! You know, just get crushed. Uh, someone's not meant to place torches around there, but... This here was another puzzle where you had to place a torch here and the sand would fall down, which is pretty cool. A lot of people got stuck there. This room was just almost impossible. Um, I took direct kind of inspiration from... Uh, who was it? Um, uh, can't remember his name. Oh, uh, stick an annotation. But yeah, he made the impossible series of, or not the impossible, but he just made these really difficult piston challenges. So anyway, we got another one here. We go place the torch here, and a block will pop out. Uh, all in dark, of course, all in the dark. Over here, this is pretty cool. It was it's near impossible unless you go around the walls, which I don't like people doing. But it's an option. A lot of people think you've got to. Take a super advanced way across, so, you know, jump down here. Uh, let's, you know, it's just things like that, so you've got to use your head. So you're going to place a torch there to access this chest, which contains all the necessary things, and you've got to like, place a piston there to jump, get across to here. Or, or somehow you've just got to get over to here, place a piston there and power it. Um, and that pushes this block across, which allows you to do something over here, maybe, I think. I'm not too sure. I've really done this in a while. Uh, then you kind of come over here. I'm not meant to break that, but I will. Someone obviously has. This is not working. <laughs> uh, this is this is brutal in here. You know, you walk in here. You're like, oh, lol, diamonds, fun. Oh, sweet. And try and come out, and you're just stuck. Because when you when you try to walk over this, you're just like, uh, rejected. So, um, you just kind of have to use hacks to get over. Anyway, coming down here, um, so kind of walk into here. You know, this is a very interesting challenge we designed. You got one piston. You got to open this sand here, and it will open up a door. Oh, the sand will get pushed through. Uh, this, the rest of the sand will fall down, and then you'd have to get the same piston and constantly use it with this sand up here. I think so. You had to, you had to basically with one piston. Uh, grab the piston. Use it like this kind of breaking it and pushing the sand eventually over here, pushing this sand through, opening up a doorway, and then pushing sand through, which eventually opened up a doorway, which is right there. You also come down in here and get trapped in the room down there. So yeah, there's just kind of lots of evil things in this. But okay, so that's just another one of my kind of failed adventure maps that I started making kind of an hour later. I just got bored and stopped making. Uh, let's actually go back. Um, for some reason, it just lags right there. There's no reason for it. For that tall buildings, which are kind of designed for small projects, as you can see in there. Um, hello. People always watch my vids. Oh, he always watches the videos a lot. Anyway, anyway there's my kind of filming room. Uh, coming over here. I'm in the world below. Uh, this isn't really a um, stop project, it's just I haven't worked on it in a while. It's a different style RAM module. It's really big, really big. Uh, it's only 16 bytes and it's really 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 fast and really 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 tileable so it works well another thing which you might be interested in is this here it's 
Um, Dance Dance Revolution. Got the name there. Uh, started making it a long time ago. Got bored really quickly. You know, I'll just show you. Warning. Warning rate. Anyway, so here we go. You can see we've got um, all the arrows. You know, funky dancing. And yeah, I can't be bothered really doing the score counter. It's just too much effort, really. Yeah. And no one wanted to do the music for it. So, you know, you can't have Dance Dance Revolution without the music. It just doesn't work. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, it's just kind of general. Oh, over here. Yes. I was building a maze thing. Something that, you know, you get a maze. Which changes every few seconds. People hated it, but I couldn't be bothered making more than two types of maze, so it was just pathetic. Really. Meh. Meh. That's all I can say to it. So, wait, let's. Uh, is it over here? Yeah, it's over here. So, we're gonna. Is this working? Oh, I've got to turn the bottom. Yeah. I'm so confused with my own work. Why? Uh, it doesn't matter. And yeah, there's my 3D printer. Oh, this here. This is uh, something I started, then I can be bothered continuing. Uh, uh, it was just meant to be like a single line ASCII decoder thing, so you could tile them and they'd have the decoder under here. So I've got B, you've got A if you want it. But the only problem with it was the amount of, of repeaters involved, and yeah, just mm, didn't didn't quite work out. You know, just some things just don't work. This is just one of them. It just slow. That was the only problem. It's just so slow. So yeah, just having a mega meh moment. Oh, um, no, it's nothing interesting in there. But yeah, I guess that's the video. I don't really have much more to show you. I don't know, I've just been helping people lately, rather than doing projects and stuff like I normally would. Uh, so yeah. Oh, uh, no. Alright, yeah, thanks for watching. By the way, I should have a video out pretty soon. I'm nearing... 500,000 total views, I think, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching.